In this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create a cool Instagram story animation without using any plugins. This tutorial is perfect for anyone who wants to level up the way Instagram stories appear on their Instagram profile. Also, this tutorial is for people who are already familiar with using After Effects. So I'm going to assume that you have a basic knowledge of using After Effects as I won't be covering each and every shortcuts and stuff like that. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Now before we proceed further with this tutorial, there are two things that you need to download which are absolutely free and that is the anchor point mover script and the keyframe wingman script. Now these two scripts will help us to move a bit faster and improve our workflow. I have mentioned the link in the description of the animation composer which you need to download and install it. It is absolutely free. So after you install the normal animation composer you can go into windows and there you'll find the two scripts that is the anchor point mover and the keyframe wingman just click on them and dock it wherever that you want to dock it and you know you can customize your layout as well if you want to just because i'm working on instagram story i like to keep the layout a bit different than usual so let's start by creating a new composition and for the width i'm gonna set it to 1080 and height of 1920 30 fps and let's um, keep it 15 seconds long that is the duration of a story and let's rename this to main story as this is going to be our main composition hit ok so here we have our main comp let's create placeholder for our images you can also use videos if you want to let's create a new composition called this media underscore one let's hit ctrl d Let's select layer, hit control D two times. So we have two copies. So have so now we have media one, two, and three. Let's select them and open them up. Then I have few images that I will be using for this particular example. These are free images that you can download from unsplash.com, one of my favorite site to download images. So I'm gonna drag and drop this one. And let's hold shift and let's make this a bit smaller. And let's place it just like that so there we go let's go into media 2 let's use the second image that i want to use let's make this again a bit smaller and just like so perfect let's jump into media 3 and let's drag and drop in our third image all right you can also align it just like that as well if you want to and if you don't find this align tab you can again find it under windows align so we have our images placed up let's select all the three media composition and drag and drop it into our main story comp so there we have it now we need to slice them up so to do that i'm going to select the rectangle tool and let's double click to create a rectangle let's give it a different color maybe something like a white color and I'm going to rename this so hit enter and call this mask underscore 01. Then let's go into rectangle 1, rectangle path 1, unlink this and I'm going to divide the width with 1080 divide by 3. So we get this shape and then let's select the first image that we have, hit F4 to bring up the track mat option and set this to alpha mat. And let's hide both of these for now so there we have it then what i'm going to do is select the mask layer and move the anchor point to the left so i'm going to use the anchor point mover let's click on this icon so it's going to switch the anchor point to the left and then i'm going to i'm going to align this to the left as well then i can select the image and let's just place it in a way that we want and that looks perfect to me let's zoom into the timeline a bit i'm going to go to one second select the media and the mask hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back let's pull down the mask all the way out of the frame just like so and then move the image a little bit to the bottom just like that so we have a pretty simple animation now to make it look interesting i'm going to use the keyframe wingman which basically helps us to tweak the keyframe animation without 
the need of jumping into the graph editor so i'm going to select the keyframe and here we have the keyframe bing i'm going to set this to 85 you can just manually type in 85 select the, all the keyframes that we need to add the animation to and click on this icon so now we have a really interesting smooth animation now you can do that manually as well if you know if you can select the keyframe jumping to the graph editor and manually tweak it but this as you can see saves a lot of time so there we go there we have our animation now i'm going to jump 10 frames forward that is let's go to one second and 10 frames then what i'm going to do is select this mask hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink the scale let's create a keyframe on the scale go to two seconds and scale this up to 300 all right let's select the media let's go right over here click on this icon so it's going to create a keyframe go right over here and set this to 540 so it's perfectly into the center you can also align it from the align section if you want select this keyframes and let's click on this icon so now let's see what we have pretty nice that is what i'm looking for let's go to one second two second and ten frames so let's copy paste this keyframes select this hit ctrl c ctrl v select this one ctrl c ctrl v then i'll jump to three seconds select this first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v and select this one ctrl c ctrl v so now we have something like this pretty nice and simple so this is the base of our first animation now all i have to do is let's select the mask hit ctrl d to duplicate it so now we have mask 2 let's put it on the top of the media 2 comp i'm gonna just hide the first one turn on the media 2 and set this to alpha matte then i can select this hit u so we can see the keyframes go at the very beginning select the layer and align it into the center also move the anchor point into the center let's go right over here and move it into the center so now we have this really nice animation select the media comp hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back and let's bring that down so let's see the position property property of this one so i'm gonna bring that down to one two one six so we can just simply control c copy this and paste it right over here there we go so now we have something like that let's select the keyframes and click on this icon again to add the same animation pretty nice and because the anchor point is in the center you can see we get the scale animation that we wanted pretty cool right the one thing that i want to add is a small scale animation to the media as well so hit s create a keyframe go right over here and set this to one one zero go right here Control c Control v right here select this one hit Control c Control v select the keyframes and the same exact thing so now we have something like this looks pretty cool now let's select the mask 2 hit Control d now we have mask 3 put that below on the top of the media 3 same exact thing alpha mat this time i'm going to move the mask to the right oh make sure your time indicator is at the very start hit u let's go right over here put this to the right right over here put this to the right so we have something like that let's place the image the way we want it to look so something like that select this hit p create a keyframe go back and what was the position so let's see the position one two one six control c control v and there we go let's select the keyframes and the same exact stuff let's see the keyframes again and yep that is what i'm going for now what i'm going to do is make sure you change the anchor point to the right let's go right over here move the anchor point to the right and align it to the right as well so now we have something like that let's jump right over here you can click on this icon to add the position go right over here and align it into the center so we have this nice animation let's go right here copy this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v copy this one hit ctrl c ctrl v so now we have something like that 
so there we go there we have our animation but things are not gonna look right because we have all the animation at the same time which i don't really like so there we go let's before we proceed further with anything let's go ahead into the effects and control panel effects and preset panel sorry and i'm going to use an effect called tint just to add a really nice look and let's set the this one to a nice green color and the blacks to a nice purplish dark purplish color just like so i can select the tint hit ctrl c paste it on the second one ctrl v change the primary color to a nice red color and then ctrl v to paste it on the third one and change the primary color to a nice yellow now obviously you can go with different colors like you know something like a purple or something like that but i'm gonna go with the yellow looks good all right so now it's looking much better but now we need to fix some animation so now what i'm going to do is let's jump five frames forward select the mask 2 and media 2 i'm going to snap in right over here jump to 10 frames and snap the mask 3 and media 3 right over here so we have a little bit of displacement still it's not looking the way we want you can see so let's close this up so now what i'm going to do is select all the layers hit u and we need to move the keyframes a bit so what i'm going to do is where the first animation ends that is right over here i'm going to move these keyframes to start from right there so i'm going to just move them like so then i'm going to move where the second animation ends and let's select these keyframes and move them just like so but still they're not going to look the way we want so now to fix this it's pretty simple all you have to do is first of all pre-compose them so i'm going to select the mask one and media one hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose them i'm going to call this o1 just being a bit lazy just so that we proceed a bit fast with the tutorial because you know if i moved at a very uh plain speed the tutorial is going to be super long and i don't want to do that because the steps are pretty simple and very much self-explanatory but wherever is needed or required i'm gonna you know give you guys all the information regarding it so we have the pre-comp let's select mask 2 and media 2 hit ctrl shift c call this o2 can select this ctrl shift c call this o3 all right now just so that we don't get messed up i'm going to change the color of this layer to red or to green because this one is the green color second one has a nice red so let's switch to red and the third one has a nice yellow so i'm going to switch to yellow all right so now what i'm going to do is let's go right over here where the animation ends i'm going to go into edit and split the layer and put it at the back so now when the second animation starts it's on the top then the second animation ends thing right over here so let's jump on to the second one let's select the layer at u and let's see where it ends so it ends at 4 second and 20 frames that is right over here select the layer go to edit split layer or hit ctrl shift d put this at the back and bam now if i preview this we get the desired animation that we were going for pretty simple and easy now i'm going to jump into the media composition so select all of them let's create a new adjustment layer called this t for transform and i'm going to add a subtle zoom animation so let's again actually go into fix and presets let's place it right over here and i'm going to add transform let's go at the very start create a keyframe on the scale height go to around 10 seconds and set this to 115 then i can simply copy paste this layer hit ctrl c and ctrl v ctrl v so we have a subtle zoom animation going on looks pretty nice and then we can finally add in some text also the images are not looking that sharp so 
to do that first of all i'm gonna set this to full and what i can do is let's go into the media let's go on to the transform and let's add unsharp mask and set this to around three all right let's copy paste this hit Control c Control v and Control v all right so that is looking much better really quickly i'm gonna add some color adjustments or create an adjustment layer call the cc go into effects and preset and type in curves double click let's punch up the contrast just a touch let's jump into the blues punch that up a bit all right so that is the look i am going for finally i'm gonna go ahead and add some uh text which is super simple i'm going to select the text tool and i'm going to use the helvetica now font you can of course use any font that you like let's call this street let's place it into the center duplicate this and i'm going to call this style let's move this below for the font weight i'm going to go with a uh, black yep that looks good set the scale to 200 there we go that is looking pretty good let's add some nice background to this so i'm going to create a shape just like that put this at the back of the text and I'll just move this right here. Let's select the street and the shape layer that we created, align them properly. There we go. Also, you can move the anchor point into the center. So that is looking pretty nice. Let's call this box underscore one and create a simple, nice and simple animation for this. So what I'm gonna do is select the text layer, go into effects and preset, call this, add an effect called set matte which is gonna act as a track mat. Let's select the box one. And now I can animate the box. So our animation ends somewhere around there. And I guess six second and 10 frames. Let's add a marker. And then what I'm gonna do is select the box layer, hit S, create a keyframe, pull that keyframe at eight seconds. And unlink this, let's scale that down to zero. So basically we have a pretty simple animation. Let's set this to eight second properly select the keyframes and add the animations now we have something like that pretty nice i think it's a bit too slow for my liking so i'll jump to seven second and 15 frames let's move this right here let's see yeah that looks much better and then i can also add a small animation to our text so select and hit p to create a keyframe on the position go back pull this a bit down and add the same animation so we have something like that and using the same technique i created a second text as well so it's pretty much repeating the same exact process and boom there you have your cool instagram story animation which looks pretty cool and insane you can add in your products and stuff like that to promote them you can add three products at the same time or your merchandise whatever that you want to do and it's going to look super duper cool you can also use videos if you want to so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on instagram stories if you want me to create more tutorials on instagram stories do let me know in the comment section below i would love to make some more cool animations for you guys so with that said that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out